Welcome back to my let's play of Danganronpa 2 Goodbye Despair. In the last part, our old friend Byakuya Togami was killed. Which was not what I was expecting at all. Um, but he is dead, and now we need to investigate him. His body. Under this very table, Yakia was... Yeah. First, I should investigate the top of the table. Wh why? Though the only thing on top of the table that really catches my eye is... This desk lamp. Okay. It looks like an antique lamp, and it seems rather heavy. The power cord was connected to the outlet, so it wouldn't have been useless during a blackout. Oh, so it would have been useless. Other than that, there's nothing else on the table that really stands out to me, so... Yep, yeah, let's check the body! Now's not the time for me to flinch. I gotta do it! I let out a shout as if to encourage myself, and quickly lug beneath the table. Oh god... Shit, plug out everywhere too, on the fucking back sheet, on the front sheet... Also, what the fuck are those? I saw them last time too, are they like fucking... Binocular or something? Immediately, I noticed an unexplainable smell like rusted iron hanging in the air. And during the stinging pain in the back of my eyes, I slowly shifted my gaze towards Byakuya's body. Yakia Togami, the ultimate affluent progeny. He was the kind of guy who said a lot of hurtful things. But he tried his best to lead everyone. Why? Why did he have to end up like this? You know, it's kind of funny and ironic if you think about it. Um, because in the last game, Yakia was a complete dick. He was an asshole. He didn't give a shit about anyone. He was all like, I'm going to live. I don't care who I have to kill. I don't care if all you die. I'm going to survive. And he did. Um, in this game, however, he switched and he was like, I will lead you all to victory. I will make sure no one dies. I'm a team player. I'm team captain, all that shit. And he was the first one to die. So moral of the story, um, if you're in this situation, don't be a team leader, be an asshole. That, then you'll survive. The only thing I can do right now, for Byakuya's sake, is to uncover the truth behind his death. Okay. Okay, so we got a lot. So, oh, night vision goggles. Oh, I thought they were binoculars, like high tech, where like, oh. Hmm, what is this? It looks like binoculars, but yeah, that's what I said. But it just said high tech on night vision goggles. Why are there a pair of binoculars under the table? Hey. Hajime, those aren't binoculars. Yes, he knows, he's smart. Huh? Then what are they? Perhaps. They're probably night vision goggles. N night vision goggles? I've seen them at the supermarket on this island. They also stock self-defense kits, too. If that's the case... Did the killer use these night vision goggles to kill Byakuya during the blackout? How the hell did he get under the table? That's my question. I mean, he must have been under there, right? Because there's no, like, blood dragon marks that we'd see. At least I don't think. Um... There's this thing, what the this? Hmm? Something stuck to the back of the table. Is this duct tape? There's some kind of paint applied to the non-sticky side of the duct tape. In the dim light beneath the table, it seems to glow dully. Could this be glowing paint? Okay. Then we have the knife. A bloody knife. Is this the weapon that killed Byakuya? Hold on. How did the killer bring this knife into the dining hall in the first place? Byakuya, Byakuya thoroughly patted down everyone and thoroughly inspected every corner of this old building. And all the constantly dangerous items were supposed to be placed in that dur aluminum case. Is it possible they stole this knife from the case? Or they hid it somewhere hard to find? 
Also, there's one more thing about this thing that's strange. Is it the glowing? Yeah. There's some kind of paint that's been applied to the hilt. In the dim light beneath the table, it seems to glow dully, just like the tape. Could this be glowing paint? Knife, okay. So, painting a picture in my head right now. Um, the killer used night vision goggles and had a knife that they taped under the table um, to kill Byakuya. Yeah, that's what I got so far. The body is collapsed face down into the table. As if he was in the middle of attempting something. It looks like he was. According to the Monokuma file, he was repeatedly stabbed between the throat and ab abdominal region. Oh god. Repeatedly stabbed. Would one of us really do something so horrible? Up, oh, level up. Monokuma file one. Um. Yeah, his buff. There's something else there, right? Oh, bless him. The blood flowing from Byakuya's body from the huge pool under the table. There's a lot of blood. There's blood splattered everywhere. Even the inner side of the tablecloth is covered in blood. The blood might have splattered all over the place when he got stabbed. But there don't seem to be any drag marks leading from the blood pool. That means he died under the table. How the hell did he get under there, though? Um, I'm sure I've pretty much investigated what's under the table. Despite the fact that it's just me, I think I'm working pretty hard. Even if it's just a little, I'm sure we're getting closer to the truth behind Byakuya's death. I mean, we know that there was a knife under the table. We know there were knife and goggles the killer probably used. Um, and they used a knife under the table to get the killer. I mean, get the killer. Get Byakuya. How did he get under the table, though, is my question. Um, do I talk to everyone? Uh, I must, I must investigate my classmate's body. <laughs> yes, I'm the only one who has medical knowledge. <laughs> That's why I need to do it, to, 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 to do it somehow. Before you start, why don't you calm down a bit? Oh. You're right. I, I need to calm down first. I am careless enough as it is. Yeah, you are. You keep fucking spreading your legs every time you fall. That's pretty obvious from how you fell earlier. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, I am terribly sorry about that. For showing you s something so unsightly. Yeah, we don't need to talk about it. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah, you made me remember it again. Oh, why do we need spread eagle? <laughs> oh, God. I made such a fool of myself in front of everyone. Forget making a fool of yourself. How in the world did you end up like that? Um, well, I got startled by the blackout, slipping on the carpet, and once I was struggling to get back up. Uh, how it, embarrassing! It's so embarrassing. Please, please erase it from your memory. Well, then stop fucking showing me that picture. Even if you ask me, I won't be able to forget it so easily. Wow, Hajime, you couldn't have just said, yeah, sure, I'll forget, to make her feel better. Sorry. Oh, I can't stand it. What? Wait, this is a fucking truth? Okay. What? I, okay. Um, Nagito. Last time I tried to skip over, I'm gonna save him for last. I fucking guy interrupted, so I'm talking to him first now. For a second, I guess, whatever. Hey, Hajime, there's something I want to run by you. Before the blackout occurred, Yaki was in the dining hall with the rest of us, right? Yeah, that's right. Hmm. If Yaki's dead body was discovered after the blackout, then don't you think he died during a blackout? I mean, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what, happened, what we assumed so far. Well, now that you mention it, but, but why was Byakuya's body on the table? That's why I'm trying to figure out. See, me and him are like in sync. We're both figuring out the same thing. We're thinking about the same thing. Yeah.
Even if the killer tried to hide him, it's not like he would have stayed hidden forever. Isn't it confusing? You're absolutely right. It seems, finding like what exactly happened during the blackout is key to solving a mystery. There's no way I'd know. It was too dark during the blackout, I couldn't see a thing. That's not it. Although, if seeing was impossible, then there's a possibility someone might have heard something. Ooh, interesting. Heard something? Uh, are you talking about her? Who? Uh, you? Her? <gasps> oh. My hero. Are you alright? Yeah, I'm fine. What's going on? Is that what you expected me to say? Because I feel terrible. One minute Biak is alive and well and an instant something awful suddenly happens. Of course I'm not fine. Why? And not only that, whoever killed him is one of us, right? That hasn't been determined yet. It's already been determined. You've already accepted it, haven't you? This is the worst. That we to find out the killer is Find out which friend killed our friend. I don't like it either, but we won't survive if we don't go through with it. It's not just for yourself. You have to do it to protect all of us. Yeah. If, if I had only acted calmer during the blackout, the yeah, acting may still be alive. No, I don't think that's the case. This is the worst. This whole thing would have never happen. Stop blaming yourself. Nothing good will come of it. Yeah. Jeez. Jeez. Oh, Ain't checked by a boy doesn't like me at all. Wh Rude. Got it. Hey, Hajime. Forget about what I just said. Got it. What the hell? You just. Whatever. Fine. Yeah, that's fine. I got it. Hmm. Anyway, I won't dwell on it for now. I can't become a burden to everyone. Plus, there might be a clue that I, only I have access to. Blue. Hey. Photos. The one I took just for the black, I remember. Oh yeah. Yeah, I take a picture. Jeez, yeah. Oh yeah, the pictures. Hmm. Wanna see them? I have a digital digital camera so I can show them to you right now. Oh, really? Please. Let's see. In this photo. Hmm. In this one. Okay, so Biakia seems to be on the other side of the fucking room. I took these two photos right before the blackout, but. Huh? Huh? Is something wrong? Hmm. I didn't realize it until just now. But right before the blackout, Biakia was. Staying in a totally different place from where we found him. Yeah. Wasn't his body under that table with the lamp on top of it? The one underneath the monitor? Prior to that, Yaki was standing along the wall farthest from the table. You're right. That's pretty far. There's something. Everyone's standing position before the blackout might be a huge clue. Hey, can you approximate everyone's standing position from these photos? Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. It'd be hard to understand from the photos alone, so it may be better for me to plot them out. Hmm. But would that actually provide a clue? I don't know yet, but I feel like it could. Leave it to me. Got it. Then leave it to me. That's pretty much the only job I can do anyway. Thank you. Alright, now that that's decided. You better do your best. You better work hard on your investigation too. How much longer are you planning to stand around? Do you understand? Do you understand what's going on? You gotta find out how Biakia died. Yeah, I know, but... It's good she's all fired up now, but she's a totally different person now than she was just when she was feeling down. Yeah. Oh, hell how nearing. Answer my call. Oh, he's still on about nearing, right? Impossible! <laughs> Is this... Effort futile as well. Hey, are you still looking for that earring you dropped? You is no mere earring, is the hellhound earring. 
fly. Long ago, in a faraway land, a beast known as the Hellhound was feared by all, even by he who summoned it. Well, this is certainly random. <laughs> I know. But it's fine, I like it. The Hellhound tore its way through innumerable battlefields. Its fangs glistened with blood. And his drenched, blood red fur would dry in the howling winds of no when I finally tamed the diabolical beast, I received an earring to commemorate that event. Shiver! The Hellhound Earring. So that I may never forget the night I battled the fearsome Pomeranian. I wear that earring at all times. Isn't a Pomeranian a small dog? Is that really about a friggin' Pomeranian? I understand that it's possible to do, but for now we need to investigate. I won't let you! Where is it? Where did it disappear to? He's not investigating anything. Maybe it fell into the floor? The carpet didn't cover the whole floor. It might have fallen through the gap between the exposed floorboards. <laughs> <laughs> so, that's what transpired. Such a clever little bobble. Bobble. What? Bobble? Venom laughed uproaring as he walked towards the wall and pressed his head against the gap in the floor. He appeared beneath the floorboards. I can see it! Ah, there it is! I have found it! Truly, that is the Hellhound Earring! <laughs> it seems God exists for my benefit. I see. Good for you. Let me ask. However, how do I recover it? I cannot fit my arm through this opening, where I use a tool, but probably not reach either. Then maybe you should just give up? What? Give up what? The world? I may give up the earring. <laughs> you! Fool! Have you not realized yet? The world will come to an end if the human race were to lose that earring. You humans are so satisfied with clothing yourself in layers of false knowledge. If you flinch, you will die! Oh, but even with all those layers, you still will not survive the winter. Why am I being scolded? Fine. It was foolish of me to rely on you fools. Fine. I shall do something about it on my own. Now if you'll excuse me, I must go save the world. Once the earring backs by any means necessary, his determination is truly inspiring. But it'd be nice if he actually helped me with the investigation. Sorry about that, I had an interruption. Oh, we got gaps in floor. Okay. Where's it? Oh, there we go. <laughs> um, I want to look at this. Ah, this is a metal case back he had with him. I believe he said it was a dur aluminum case. Oh. The last time I saw it, it was closed, but there was a lot of odd things inside this case. Like a nightstick and pepper spray. Hmm? What's this? A hard plastic case. It's just a case and inside it's empty. Did Biaki have the knife in the goggles? And that was a container? Huh. Interesting. Okay, I don't know. I'll depend on that. But the one thing that really catches my attention is... This small key. It must be the key to the other door aluminum case. The other key was in the office. And all of the collected dangerous items were inside of it. Excuse me. If the key to that drill in the case is right here, then it's unlikely that the murder weapon used to kill Biaki was taken from the case. Which means the weapons inside the drill in the case aren't related to Biaki's murder. Even so, I still don't get it. Why did Biaki have this drill in the case in the first place? The case packed with all of the security weapon, equipment. Maybe he was being extra cautious in the case? No, that can't be right. That's just too overboard. They have known something was going to happen beforehand. 
because of that, went through all this trouble to be extra careful. Star Aluminum case. I can't get out of here, they still- oh shit, um, uh, okay. Well, I talked to everyone, so we'll just look at that right now. Your remote control air conditioner. Hmm. Air conditioner. Could it be- what? Hey, all of you, why can't you act a little more grown up? Hmm, what that sound just now? Oh! The air conditioner is probably the only machine inside this room. And the air conditioner's remote control... The timer's set to 11.30 p.m. I'm pretty sure Biaki's time of death was around the same time. If so, that means... The mechanical sound before the blackouts probably came from the air conditioner. Oh, okay. I did not put that together. My flashes of inspiration aren't as bad as I thought. Better than mine. AC timer. Now then, where else should I mess here? Oh, that was it. Okay. Oh, hi. Hajime. Ah, Hajime. A moment. Hmm? What is it? Hey. When we're finished with the investigation here, would you like to hear what everyone has to say together? If I go by myself, some of you might not talk to me out of cautious. Well, we've been told that one of us is a killer. It can't be helped if everyone's on edge right now. But why me? <laughs> You're easy to talk to. I feel like you have a sense similar to mine. Oh. We both harbor special feelings towards Host Peak Academy. Isn't that right? Well, yeah, but... Fine, if we're going together, let's get on with it. There's no time for ideal chit chat. Thanks. I'm glad. It'll be a great help. Special feelings, huh? Even so, what he said about us being similar, I don't think I agree. Why not? Now you're just great. It's the fucking best. You wish you were as similar as so. him. Oh. Now then. I guess for now, we should search the inside of the old building and listen to what others have to say. Not just the dining hall, I think we should consider the whole building of the scene of the crime. After all, the blackout that took place at the time would have happened throughout the entire building. Yeah, you're right. Okay. Oh, hi! Um... Um, there is something I want to ask you. Hmm? What is it? Um... It is strange, no? It appears that only that wall is a different color and material. Why is that? Perhaps... Oh, it's probably a fire door. Fire door? Hmm? You've never seen one before? It's a door that's just to keep fire from spreading by containing it. If that happens, you can run away, right? Wow! I see. It is like a barrier. Just like lining up plastic bottles around the house. That's only done to keep cats from getting out. <laughs> you know about keeping cats from getting inside, but you don't know about fire doors? Truly, I am culturally ignorant. I am ashamed of myself. Oh, don't worry. Oh, fire door. Wait, that's part. Fire. How? I... Oh boy, there's lots of to consider. Um, and I know none of it. Kitchen. Okay, wait. What's back here first? Oh, hi. Hey. Hey. Let's start talking, to everyone. It's definitely going to help us out. Okay. Good one in here. This storage room is really dusty and dark. Wow. My hands were full of cleaning in the dining hall, so I couldn't even touch this room. If he has cobwebs, there's no way I could stay in here for a long time. Oh yeah, you see the cobweb behind him. Um. Jeez, there's a lot to look at. Stacks clean tablecloth. It looks like they haven't been used yet. I guess there's nothing strange here. Oh. Laundry hamper! There's a huge piece of clothes randomly shoved in here. Perhaps? Is this a tablecloth? Oh, a tablecloth? Wait. Huh? Come on, there's something on it. <gasps> oh! Is this a blood stain? Huh? Huh? A blood stain? Come here, take a closer look. What? It's too dark. I can't really see that clearly. 
There's no mistaking it. This is clearly a bloodstain. Which means the tablecloth is connected to Biaki's murder, right? Well... If that tablecloth has a bloodstain on it, then... It's a possibility. Seriously, it is a bloodstain. Okay... Interesting, interesting. There's an awful lot of boxes. We don't have time to go through each one and every one of them. I guess I should leave them alone. Yep. Oh, why is this done? Okay. Um, irons. Hmm? Are these irons? It looks like they were recently turned on, but why are there three irons on the iron board? Hmm. Just that I thought, your eyes don't miss a thing. Well, they were laughing I looked at it, actually, but whatever. Thanks for compliment. When I was looking at, for Biakia after the blackout, I also found these irons, but when I found them, all three of them were turned on. Turned on? Yep. It'd be bad if another blackout happened, so I turned them off, but doesn't this feel kind of sinister? Sinister. Irons in storage room, okay. Hajime. Hey Hajime, how much longer are we going to stay in this dark place? You're just wasting your time. Let's move on and investigate other places already. Okay. Hmm? Ah, uh, I get it. You're right. Can't talk to you. Are you just gonna say something? Wow. Oh no. My hands were full clean in the dining hall, so I couldn't. Oh, he yeah, actually said that. Okay. Um, the end. Well, the furthest room. There's still way more to go. Um. Oh, hi. Hey. Oh, sorry, I just walked right through you. Um, I guess we'll go in the kitchen then. Okay, Terry, Terry, what do you know? Hey, were you in the kitchen during the blackout, Terry, Terry? Uh. <laughs> that blackout totally startled me. At first, I thought it was just the kitchen, but when I finally managed to get out of the kitchen, the hallway was pitch black too. And then I heard everyone's voices, so I fumbled along the wall and tried to feel my way to the dining hall. That place was pitch black too. It was like pitch black everywhere. Can you use that kitchen stove light? No, 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 no. Ah, that's impossible. This gas stove needs electricity to work, so it was directly affected by the blackout. I see. Then I guess it's not possible. Since you work with fire in the kitchen, I figured you'd be able to use that as a light source or something, but... I guess it's not that easy. Oh. Territory's account. Do I, wait, do I need to look at all this? Oh, I guess I do. Um... Yeah, he must have confiscated all the dangerous items in the kitchen equipment list. Well, just from reading through this list... Hopefully the knife next to Biaki's body didn't come from the kitchen. It appears to have been brought from the outside. From outside? How did the killer get it past Biaki's body check? Um... I mean, I guess? I guess we don't know. <laughs> um... That's weird. Strange, isn't it? We didn't even go easy on the girls when he was performing that pat-down. Yeah. If that's the case, they probably brought the knife in advance and hid it somewhere. Hey. Still, it's surprising how much equipment this kitchen has. They have an iron plate for barbecuing, and even a portable stove for cooking hot pots. This is all stuff that doesn't pertain to the murder, so I guess it doesn't really matter. <laughs> I agree. Oh, but it, it's a truth bullet, so it matters. Um, this is... Wait, is this... I already read that. <laughs> Isn't it amazing? The meat is so big, even I was shot. Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. I'm not shocked by you saying that, honestly. Well, guess that's about it. It's a dish fit for a tropical island. I'd never be able to get meat like then. Those two places that I cannot pronounce and not even gonna try to because I'll butcher it. I'd never meet, be able to get me like this in my hometown, much less, again, two places I can't pronounce and I'm not gonna even try because I'll butcher it. I get it, you don't need to repeat yourself, but it's so big. Where do you get it? Oh my god. 
I asked Nekomaru. Apparently, he killed a cow at the ranch with his bare hands and brought it over. A what? His bare hands? Why did you kill the cow? <laughs> That's a little hard to believe, but it doesn't seem possible either. Those hands of his, they look like they're specialized in punching things. I don't want to get punched by those hands. <laughs> Seriously, Nekomar is so wild. He's totally right at home in a country setting. I'm so jealous. My own town is near those two places. So wild country things like that, they slip my mind a lot, you know? Man. Well, I guess this meat has gone to waste. Since this awfulness happened right when the party started. The only ones who ate any food were Akane and Pekka, who took some portion for herself. And Yakia, too, because he plot chowed down the fucking skewers. Eh? Don't say that. After I worked so hard to cook the world's most refined party dishes, only two people actually taste them? To tell you the truth. Well, it's not like I actually believe it, but there really is a killer out there. <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh, I'll probably never be able to forgive that killer. He's scary when you're mad. Party dishes. Well, I guess I'm pretty much finished investigating the kitchen for now. Now you can tell, let's get going. You're right. Yeah, sure thing. Okay. Um, what else do we have? I mean, I feel like I have a lot. Um. Oh. Okay. I see. I see. Apparently, a great man once said, "Investigation should be done on foot." So, that's why I'm also using my feet. I'm just walking around for no particular reason. Well, if there's no reason, then there's no meaning. Hey. Hey, Hajime, I just realized something. Could she, by any chance, know what happened during the blackout? Yeah, I was just thinking the same thing. Why? Are you serious? Huh? How do you know? <laughs> so you did hear us. Even though Hajime and I were talking pretty softly just now. <laughs> <laughs> Not only do I have a perfect face, style, and personality, but I also have perfect ears. Oh! Wait, did she say something about that earlier? About her good hearing? I feel like I vaguely remember that, but I didn't pay much attention to it to remember it until just now. Okay. <laughs> I see. If your hearing is so good, maybe you heard what actually happened during the blackout. Hey. If the blackout happened, you can hear everyone's voices through the dining hall, right? We couldn't tell, but you would have been able to make out who's who, right? Just leave it to Ibuki. It'll be easy if, as fried rice with you with gravy. What? Huh? <laughs> la -di la la. I'll heartily eat it for breakfast. I see. Oh, you mean like it, it'll be easy as pie? Except eating fried rice with gravy for breakfast is kind of heavy. Any fried rice that isn't fried rice with gravy is so wrong. <laughs> Should we make a metaphor from a most common type of fried rice, like egg fried rice or lettuce fried rice? I don't fucking know. I don't need fucking fried rice. Um. Anyway. Oh, anyway. Can you tell us what you heard? I got it. Leave it to me. I'm gonna take a bite out of ya. Yep. If you tell us, I'll let you bite hazard me later. <laughs> Stop it. What if she takes you seriously? Let's see. The first person who raised their voice during the blackout was. That's right. It's my hero. Uh, it's a blackout! Okay. Next was Kazuichi's voice. And then the next, next voice was mine. Hey, I can't see anything. It's pitch black! My future is pitch <laughs> black! Yeah, <laughs> what a nice remark I made. It's a point of how it has its own unique charm. Yeah, I, I I also relate. Just continue. Then there were more voices, one after the other. Uh, everyone, calm so down. Mahiru. We gotta stay calm in a situation like this. Ah, don't step on my feet. Fucking bitch girl. What the hell? What's going on here? Yak, yeah. Th this is... Ow. Oh, Nagito. Ha, <laughs> Akane. Can't eat like this, you know. Yeah, I knew that was her right from the start. You guys, where are you? Harry Harry. Wasn't the blackout just in the kitchen? 
Perhaps the breaker overloaded? Sonia. Hold on a sec. I'll go along the wall and do something about it. <laughs> Alrighty, that's pretty much it. <laughs> Aren't I awesome? Praise me. Praise me. Give me lots of praise. I, I heard you the first time. She's like, don't get any closer. Oh, wow, rude. Hey, Nagito, say something to her. Hey, something happened? No, I was just thinking about what Byakuya said during the blackout. What Byakuya said? Hey. Why did he say something like that? Rather, why was he able to say that? What the hell was going on here? And this is... What do you mean? Hmm. About that. Why don't we discuss it after we investigate a little bit more? So, well, that, at that time he was still alive, right? So, like, halfway through the blackout, he was still alive. So he must have died around there. For now, I can't really say anything for certain. Well, it's not like I really care. Rude! Yep. Anyway, don't you think Ibuki's account just now is an important clue that will lead us to the truth? Yes, I do. <laughs> then praise me. Let me bite ya. Ouch! Why are you really biting me? Oh my god. <laughs> Ibuki is a cannon. Okay. The Nekumara get in the bathroom? Oh. Huh? It's locked. Someone appears to be inside. It's just a unisex bathroom. I don't know who's actually in there. Hey! Is someone in there? We knocked on the door and tried to call out to whoever was on the other side, but... No response. This is going nowhere. I guess we should give up for now and check on it later. Yeah, you're right. Office. Oh, have we actually ever been in here? Hajime. The old building circuit breaker should be in inside this office. Circuit breaker, huh? Maybe related to blackout. So it's better if we check out the circuit breaker first. Okay, where the this stuff? Yeah. That must be this old building circuit breaker. The br blackout probably happened because of this. I see. Hmm. It doesn't look like someone did something to it. Nothing else looks suspicious either. The circuit breaker is pretty high up. Even if you use a step ladder, you won't reach it. Hmm. Yeah, to I totally agree. That's why it's so mysterious. Well, during the blackout, I was panicked so badly, I forgot about that, but... You're right. Even with a step ladder, there's no way you'd be able to reach a circuit breaker. Which means someone who must have reset the breaker after the blackout. But who? Oh! I did it! Whoa! Whoa! It's here! Actually... You idiot had no idea what to do about the blackout. So I'm the only one who reset the circuit breaker. By the way... Uh, by the way, I'm not the one who tripped the breaker. The killer did that, of course. But how did someone as small as you reset the breaker? Hey, um... Well, firstly, my eyes work really good at the dark, so I'm no trouble seeing at night. And if you want to know how to reach the circuit breaker... <laughs> my body stretches. You know, I'm very elastic. Okay, gross. I don't even care about that. I won't be oh, liar! It's true. I'm serious. Wanna see? Wanna see a version of Monokuma with his body all stretched out? It's gross. It's grotesque. No thanks. Just imagine it again. It makes me want to. <laughs> oh, really? Such a shame. So cool. Still. Don't you think Monokuma's such a nice guy? In a popularity contest, he takes first place. I see. What the hell? So he's the one who reset the breaker. Well, in that case, I'm convinced there's no way we'd be able to reach that. If that's the case. How did the killer trip the circuit breaker? If they didn't trip it or set it up to be tripped. Um. Uh, oh. Oh, I. I should be looking for those. Uh, I've been found. Well, I completely forgot about those, and I'm probably missed a shit ton. 
Um. Okay. Actually, hold on. My pet poop. No, you don't. Okay. Um, sorry. Pecko. Where were you? Didn't you disappear during the blackout? Right, because you weren't in here. I can already tell. You doubt me, correct? Oh, yeah. Huh? However, it does not surprise me. An unexpected blackout occurred, and during that time, Biakia was killed. Anyway. The circuit breaker's in the office. Naturally, I've looked suspicious that I was supposed to be here, but you weren't. That's what's suspicious. Wait! Supposed to be here. Did that mean... I see. So I was right. You weren't in the office. But why? Weren't you supposed to guard the circuit breaker and the dirt aluminum case with all the weapons in it? Huh? So where'd you run off to on your own? Well, that is... <sighs> what? Uh, uh, what? Pego suddenly dropped one knee and started groaning on the spot. What's wrong with her? Hey, what happened? No, I'm just not feeling well. I apologize, but... Uh, excuse me. What the heck? Excuse me? What was that? Hey. Pecco, it appears the bathroom inside the old building is currently occupied, so... I recommend either the hotel lobby or your cottage. Huh? <sighs> it seems like it will be a tough path. She need a shit? <laughs> I thought that was Nick Mars thing. With cold sweat dropping from her forehead, Pega wobbled out of the office. Well, what happened to her? It's kind of hard for me to say my, in myself. I already feel bad enough for Pekko as it is. Mm, what did that mean? Huh? I mean, is, is it cool? She didn't, like, run away or something. Because right. if she ran away, she's obviously the killer. I'm almost positive. Hmm. Is that really what it is? No. That'd be too obvious. Um, okay, I want to... It's through aluminum case. It should contain all the dangerous items the Akia collected. Hey. Maybe we should check inside. Just to be safe. But it's locked. Yep. The Akia had a key to this particular jeweler in case with him. Check it out. I brought it with me so there's no need to worry. Okay, good. Hey, is it okay to take that key without permission? The dude's dead, so there are no rules anymore. Now, now. It's forbidden to tamper with the crime scene, but if we don't... We can't check inside the case, right? <laughs> so I should open it. This guy. He doesn't feel any remorse. <laughs> See? See? It's open. Oh! Yeah, they're, oh, they're the skewers and knives and shit. Forks, kitchen knives, iron skewers, and various tools are crammed inside. But it's not possible that the killer took anything from here. Get the key in the, within the case. Because the key to the case was inside the case the Aki had with him. I guess you're right about that. Um, lamp for desk. Is this the desk the staff used for busy work? Hmm, there's nothing in particular that catches my eye. Oh. Maybe. Hey, isn't Pego the killer? Why do you think that? I mean... Well, she wandered off somewhere even though she was supposed to be in the office. We were looking for Biaki after the blackout. I went to the office right away, but... When I got here, she was gone. Well... I shouldn't say this too loudly, or else Miss Sonya will yell at me. Hmm... Pekka's probably the one who tripped the circuit breaker, and used a blackout to her advantage to kill Biakia. Hey! Don't you think she looks kind of ruthless, too? Like, an assassin, right? Well, it's not like you look any better. Oh, damn! How's the choose account? Um, did I talk? Yeah, I didn't talk to you that much. Hey, where'd Pega go? She looked pretty pale. Wow. <laughs> if she made it, then I'm sure she's fine. Beyond that, it'd be improper for me to say. Huh? Yeah, was she gonna take a shit? Is there anything else to look at? Did gonna look at a breaker again? Okay, yeah. Okay, then I get to you. 
What? I, I just... Oh, I forgot to look at the AC. Ah, I'm stupid. This remote control is for the office air, air conditioner. Huh? The timer here is set to 11.30 p.m. Wasn't the timer for the air conditioner in the dining hall also set for that time? Did the black light happen because they blew a fuse? Because if both the ACs were set on the same time and that's when the blackout occurred? That could be it. It can't be a coincidence, right? Nah. AC timer. Now then. Now then. I guess we're done in the office, don't you think so? We should get going. Okay, um, I'm actually going to end it here. Um, we will continue our investigation in the next part. Some things are starting to make sense. Um, some things aren't. But hopefully, I will figure everything out eventually. So, yeah. That's it.